staggering look at uh, problem housing in Detroit. Tens of thousands of homes in need of major repairs affecting close to 91,000 of our friends and neighbors. Grant Herms is on Detroit's east side tonight. Grant, researchers knew this problem was bad. Worse, though, than they thought. Yeah, this problem is, is much more serious than they thought. We're here on the east side where blight and homes in need of that repair are no stranger to people here. You can go to pretty much any neighborhood down here and find one of those homes. And this new look from the University of Michigan is a startling look, especially as we look towards the winter. The report looked at 2000 Detroit homeowners asking how satisfied they were with their living conditions meant to support a study from last summer. Instead, finding that study underestimated the number of homes in need of major repairs by nearly 14,000. Those numbers are staggering um, and I think it also reveals some of the disparities between the broader metro area and what's happening in the city. According to researchers, nearly 38,000 homes are in need of repairs, or roughly 91,000 Detroiters are living in substandard housing. Last month, the city of Detroit announcing the Renew Detroit program to tackle home repairs, but it can only reach 750 homes a year, and thousands have already signed up for help. These are homes that, within the last year, the residents have experienced a major problem with electrical issues, a major problem with having running water or hot water and a major and or a major problem with having heat. Things also get worse when you talk about renters, many of whom are low income and can't afford to fight landlords for basic living standards. An entire set of Detroiters missed by the city's program. And another thing to point out is that these home repair programs are only for homeowners. And that means that there are a lot of renters who are living in inadequate quality housing conditions and there's no resources for them. And things also get worse, as they often do for those with the least. About one in five of the people in this survey who said they were unhappy or lived in subcentered housing made less than $30,000 a year. About 18% of those same households also had children in them. Devin? Fascinating. All right, Grant.